In the meantime, the Ministry of Equity says it has been challenged in meeting the increasing needs of St. Lucians affected by COVID-19. The Ministry continues to provide expanded assistance to persons on the Public Assistance Program, the 312 clients on the Child Disability Grant, 183 children in foster care, 78 people living with HIV, as well as income support for 4,263 non-NIC contributors, totaling $6.4 million. Another significant intervention is the expansion of the Public Assistance Program, PAP, or the Welfare Program by 1,000 eligible households from 2,600 to 3,600. As I speak, extension officers of the ministry are in the field engaged in a PAP rectification and expansion exercise. And from November 2020, qualifying households based on the application of the SLNet 3.0 will receive cash transfers in keeping with established payments, with established payment amount to households under the PAP. As some of you may know, the government of St. Lucia has already secured donor funds of over US $700,000 from the India UN Development Partnership Fund and the World Food Program and its donors to support this initiative. Government also provided $3 million to the SSDF Educational Assistance Program. Food packages, hot meals, care and hygiene kits are also forming part of the ministry's overall social stabilization program. 